Hello everyone. I hope you're having a great holiday weekend. Thanksgiving is over with and our time to do the main day and the main day to overeat. My hair just is not going to settle down in this wind. <clears throat> and the wind is blowing. And I hope I can get this video in because the guy next to me, he is so single-minded and into himself. He plays his music and he's been told multiple times to turn it off and he plays it all day long and he's coming back he's been gone so let's see if i can get this message out without him playing it i try to talk to him but <clears throat> he has all the answers no matter what you tell him he's perfect he's never done anything wrong in his life and everybody else has treated him bad he's the recipient they have all these answers you do your best. Anyhow, as we look at this time of year, like I said I think in my last video, they released hostages. You got to understand what that means. This is Satan negotiating a deal. This is how he negotiates. They're releasing, at least on the first batch, Women, children, and elderly, all that are in weak or fragile shape. And they were innocents when they were kidnapped. They were at a party, a, a musical event. They're releasing 50. Israel's releasing 150. The ones that Israel is releasing were captured terrorists caught in the act, regardless of their age. Some were, were young. Some were older, doesn't matter. They were terrorists caught in the act and they were put in jail. And now they're releasing them to go back and continue to do the same thing. They will go back and they either will be killed fighting or they will be arrested again. That's how the devil works. So don't negotiate with the devil. You won't come out on the winning side. Okay, so this Holiday time of year is always special. There are get-togethers and gatherings and parties and all kinds of stuff. So the question is, is, you know, did you get your invitation? Well, I'm kind of tongue-in-cheek on this, but the invitation to go to this special party is issued by Jesus. And you can follow in uh, Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So you want to go to this party, have a good time, relax, forget about the world. Well, it's coming up. We don't know when. I don't know what he's doing, but he's not staying in his camp, which is good. We have a special party to go to. It's called the Rapture. It's by invitation only. You say, well, that's not very fair of a God to make it an invitation only get, get together. Well, it is, but the event, the invitation was sent out to the whole world. So there's no problem about not being included. Now, whether you accept it or not, that's entirely up to you. So, when we go to heaven, it's like that, by invitation only. Everyone gets an invitation, and it's free. You don't have to do anything. Transportation is provided. There aren't too many worldly events like this one. He's leaving, going back out again. So that's good. Thank you, God. I've tried to witness to him, but it's like talking to a brick wall. You do your best, you pray for him, and then you just wait and see if there's anything that breaks through. So, and the thing is, even if you've lost your invitation, it doesn't matter because your name's been written down in a book. So God will know that you're coming. 
There's no volunteer sign-up list. Uh, it's pot. It's not potluck, so you can't bring anything. Everything is supplied. You can't carry anything there. Everything will be supplied. You've even got a mansion supplied to you. And that word is inappropriately used. It basically means some kind of a large dwelling inside God's own house. Don't know what that means exactly because we've never been there. We are encouraged to bring guests. So anybody that you can bring that can accept the invitation, that's the key, then we can all go. You can bring a guest. In fact, that's the only thing you can bring. And you'll find out when you get there that God already knew about it and already wrote their name in the book. So there'd be no problem getting past the doorman, whether that's St. Peter or not, whatever the jokes are about getting into heaven. There is one catch, and that is it is possible that your name is really not in the book. You may think it is, and there are many that think their name is in the book. And Jesus may I also come up and say, I'm sorry I don't know you, we can't let you in. If that's the case for this first rapture, don't worry, there's more time. And there's a couple of other raptures coming up. So you've got time to change your mind and actually figure out what you did wrong. Some of the religions, I don't know, there's a lot of movement around this morning in camp because I'm later than I normally am. God knows there's a meal planned for everybody. So, if you got it wrong, go back and figure it out. There's only supposed to be one church, not the hundreds that we see. And some of the fringe ones out on the end of the leaves and end of the branches, they're not going to get in because they're totally wrong. Some of them actually say that it's not an invitation only event, it's a work only event. If you do enough hard work, you're going to get an you're going to get to go. No. That's not how it works. So we're going to read a little bit about that out of Revelation. <clears throat> we're going to go to the end of Revelation, Revelation 21:22. We're going to see about the new Jerusalem. Now this is after everything's over with. If by this time you haven't got it figured out, you're in trouble. The glory of the new Jerusalem is what this is titled. And, I, and he's already talked about it a little bit, but we're going to jump in in kind of the middle here. But I saw no temple in it. We've always had a need for a temple. There's going to be a temple in the current Jerusalem. But the new one, there's no temple. For the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple. The city had no need for the sun or of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God illuminated it. And it's going to be pretty. And it's going to be bright, but it's not, it's not the sun. <clears throat> the Lamb is its light. So Jesus is the light of the world. 24. And the nations of those who are saved. The nations of those. So there's going to be a lot of people who are saved. But there's, not, there's going to be a lot of people that aren't there, don't get me wrong. But there's going to be a lot of people that do make it. Of saved shall walk in its light, and the kings of the earth bring their glory and honor into it. So there will be some leaders there, Christians, to be able to get there. Its gates shall not be shut at all by day, and there shall be no night there. So apparently we don't need to sleep. That would be an interesting thing to do. It have to be new bodies or you can't handle that. Because if I don't even have an afternoon nap, I'm no good. Not at my age. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. But there shall by no means enter it 
anything that defiles or causes an abomination or a lie, but only those who are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. See, you, it's an invitation only, but you better have your name in the book. Now, it's easy enough to get, but you have to give up a few things, primarily yourself. If you give up yourself and agree to what God has for you, then Jesus has already paid for your invitation, your ticket. Ticket to heaven. So this time of year, when people are expecting you to be courteous and kind, benevolent, helping people out, now is the time to really tell people that they need their special invitation. It's from Jesus, but they have to accept it. And you can't get there by volunteering. You can't get there by doing anything. You just have to reach out and accept it. Or as Jesus puts it, open the door. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone opens the door, I will come in and sup with them and they with me. The people back then understood what that meant. Any stranger came to your door, you were to invite them in. Because things were tough back then. You know, I'm, I'm living in a tent, but they lived in, you know, mud homes, thatch roofs, nothing, nothing major. If they needed heat, they built a fire. If they wanted to cook, they built a fire. They didn't have electric anything. So even though I'm, quote, roughing it, I've got it made compared to the way they did back then. And I have done things the way they did back then just to see now, I have cooked on a fire, heated with a fire. Didn't have a tent, just built my own lean-to. I've slept out in the open, pulled my space blanket over me because it's waterproof, and in the morning had three inches of snow on top of it. So I know I've done it the hard way. It's very easy to do it this way. But when we get to heaven, we won't have to worry about any of that. Everything is provided. Do we have to change clothes? I don't know. What will we be allowed to do? I don't know. We'll be with God. That would be the main thing. But we're not going to heaven to sit on a cloud and play a harp. But I'm not sure what we're going to do when we get there. It would just be a glorious place to be. It's like being taken to the biggest, richest man's mansion, you know, 75 rooms, and just wandering around a backyard that's decorated in two different ways, a garden up close, and beautiful scenery behind that. I don't know what it's going to look like, because it's going to be the new heaven and the new earth. So all that we know here is going to go away. Make sure you've got your invitation. Even if you can't find it, make sure you know that you accepted that invitation. Accept the free gift of Jesus Christ. Accept his blood sacrifice for your sin. Make sure you truly have done that. Because just raising your hand in church isn't in itself a guarantee to get to heaven. It's an acknowledgement that you need to do whatever is right to get there. But if it's not changing you, then maybe you haven't gotten the right message. We're all going to be going soon in a rapture. And then the rest of the world will continue on as it has been, continuing to get worse. The seals and the trumpets, that's not God. That is that is God letting man have his way. But it's not God creating the problems. It's man. And to add to it, 
he's going to bring Satan into the mix so that he can really mess things up. You don't want to be here for that. Oh, it's going to be a party. But it'll be a party full of sinners sinning and destroying the world. Some will remain that finally accept. It may or may not be an easy way out. You may have to provide your own transportation, i.e. dying. And you can see the way the devil treats people that it doesn't like. They're releasing hostages now that are probably the least affected by their captivity. Yeah, they may be old and sick or whatever, but these will not be ones coming back telling horror stories of how they were treated. Those would be at the end if they release them at all. They're supposed to have a couple hundred, and they're only releasing 50. These will be ones that have the least stories to tell. Now, they may have witnessed things, and they may describe things that they witnessed. But these are ones that are not going to have the trauma other than the visual imagery that they've got. Chances are, if somebody was totally mistreated and they're still a captive, they will be killed by the end. Pray for them. Pray for all of Israel and all the stuff that's going on. It's not going to get better. This is neither of the two wars that we've been watching, but is the runner-up to one of them, probably the runner-up to the Magog War. Russia's talking about leaving Ukraine. What are they going to do with all the military they've got in their fighting? Would you want to bet they don't move all these people over to Syria? where they've already got bases. And what's right below Syria? Israel. The hook is already in. They're being pulled down. You watch. Are we going to see it? I don't know. We don't know when our rapture is. We just know we got to get out of here soon. So... I've got my invitation. I hope you've got yours. And I don't have to worry about skipping breakfast like I do when on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Whatever the party is, we'll be able to eat all of it. Okay, until we meet in the clouds, God bless. Okay, walking back to my camp. <clears throat> I'll do my video here in a little bit. The sun's up, but it is feeling more like winter. <laughs>